What is going on, y'all? It is the Caveman back at it again with another video. Do you like my new backdrop? I really don't know if I like it, if I gotta be honest with you. I think I might like my old background better, but I just gotta get used to it. I wanna know if you guys prefer the old way that I had going on, or if you guys like this new professional look that I'm trying to go for. Anyways, getting back on track here, you clicked on this video, you know what we're talking about today. Deshaun Watson, and it seems like as time goes on, as time progresses, he continues to find himself in deeper and deeper water usually as time progresses things start to blow over but things are only getting worse for the guy before i get into it you guys know the drill around here mott applesauce if you ever hungry thirsty whatever it might be mott applesauce will satisfy whatever satisfying you satisfy with the caveman guarantee i promise it will never fail you the saga of deshaun watson as i just mentioned has continued to get darker and darker as time has progressed over a year ago now it came out on instagram that attorney tony busby would be pressing charges with 22 different clients against Deshaun Watson for sexual assault whilst in massage therapy session. It was also known at that time that Deshaun Watson had seen 18 other massage therapists, bringing the number up to 40 different massage therapists, at least in his five seasons with the Houston Texans. As time went on, we really didn't hear much about it. Deshaun Watson didn't play a single down in 2021, and eventually the investigations finally began. He did not end up getting convicted, and that opened the door for a potential NFL return, and that is where the Cleveland Browns swooped in and traded that massive boatload of draft picks and capital for Deshaun Watson from the Houston Texans, paid him $230 million guaranteed. Once Deshaun started attending OTAs, I thought this was really starting to blow over. But then just a few days ago, the number of lawsuits being pressed against Deshaun Watson rose to 23. Then on Monday, that number itself rose to 24. So this dark cloud had not officially blown over Deshaun Watson's head just yet. And then yesterday is when the storm cloud officially burst a bomb a nuke of epic proportions was dropped on Deshaun Watson's head the New York Times apparently ran their own investigation and revealed a lot more about the Deshaun Watson saga and just the disturbing darkness that is all behind it before quickly indulging in that article I do want to say that I saw a couple people on Twitter saying oh how do you know that the New York Times ran a trustworthy investigation how do you trust what a newspaper said over a private investigator blah 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 the answer is quite simple newspapers want to get a story they will do whatever they can to get a story and they will dig and dig and dig until they get that story officially completed and a paper like the new york times is not going to break something like this without making sure their facts are 100 true i'll have the entire article linked in the description below if you want to read the entire thing because there is a lot to take in at once i'm just gonna go over the biggest points that i took from this article starting with the fact that not only did deshaun watson see 40 different massage therapists over his five seasons in the nfl the new New York Times had revealed that that number was actually at least 66 different massage therapists in just a 17-month period of time, not over five seasons. Whether the Houston Texans organization knew it or not, they were a big player in providing Deshaun Watson the power and the privilege to be able to carry out this kind of conduct. They provided Deshaun Watson a number of different venues as well as a number of different contracts with different massage therapy practices so he could see a number of different women. The article would progress and explain explain how Deshaun Watson would use manipulative tactics to be able to appear like an ally to these massage therapists saying I'm just trying to support black business and you would even go as far as to schedule his own massage therapy sessions with these massage therapists on venues that were not at regular practices paying an inordinate amount of money for these sessions as well as paying for a tremendous amount of product he was doing as much as he could to soften up these women to make it appear as if he was as friendly as possible when in all reality he was just a predator this guy is a sleazy piece of shit I don't care if he wasn't convicted in the act actual court of law. This is more than enough evidence to prove that he is at the very least a sleazy scumbag that takes advantage of women at any expense possible. And trust me, I am convinced that he did not only sexually assault the 24 women that are pressing charges, but plenty more that are not going through all the legal trouble. The only ground, the only defense that Deshaun Watson really had in the first place was that these women were trying to take advantage of him and his money. They're trying to lie in his name, trying to bring down his image. This is not for fame for these women. This is not for money for these women. These are real experiences that left these women damaged that they do not want Deshaun Watson to be able to do to another human being. They're trying to shed light on a true predator that is living right under the spotlight. And if for some reason you still don't believe these women are sharing genuine experiences, you can go find the article in which states that Deshaun Watson offered $100,000 to all 24 plaintiffs apiece to get them to dismiss the case. And they all said, no, I don't want the money. I want to carry out with the charges I'm pressing. And I mentioned it earlier, but there are women in the New York Times article that are not pressing 
charges that are saying, you know what? Yeah, he did stuff like that to me as well. And they're not even bothering going through the whole legal process. This is purely about exposing Deshaun Watson so he is punished properly for the previous acts he has carried out on these poor women. So he's no longer able to go out and do what he has done to women in the past. And of course, the pressing question becomes, what does this mean for Deshaun Watson from a football perspective? For someone like myself, I don't think he should ever take a snap in the NFL again. I don't think he should ever be a part of an NFL organization again. I don't think he should ever attend a practice again. Deshaun Watson should never be allowed to be a part of the NFL ever again in his life. When the original 22 lawsuits were filed, I said that I'd be surprised if Deshaun Watson played in the NFL next season, referring to 2022. And then once the original investigations began, just a few months later in August, I expressed my feelings even more. And I said, you know what? Now I'd really be shocked if Deshaun Watson not only played in 2022, but if he really ever played again. Like, I really thought he might never play in the NFL again at that point. I will go as far as to say that I don't think Deshaun Watson will play a single snap in the NFL this year, and I'm not sure if he'll play another snap in the NFL ever again. But once the investigations concluded and he was not convicted, he was traded to the Browns. He was paid that big load of money, and he was starting to attend practice in OTAs. My feelings started to be pulled back a little bit. I'm like, okay, I guess this is starting to pass. I guess he probably will get a slap on the wrist, get suspended for six or seven games. We know the NFL is a considerably difficult time handing out proper punishment, so I really thought for a short period of time there that Deshaun Watson really was going to get away with this with just like a half a season suspension. But now that this New York Times article has dropped, now that there is up to 24 civil suits being pressed against Deshaun Watson, the NFL cannot screw this up. They cannot let this slide. They cannot give him less than what they gave Calvin Ridley, and they gave Calvin Ridley at least a year for betting $1,500 on an NFL game unknowingly, and I'm starting to revert back to how I felt in April and August, and I'd really be surprised if Deshaun Watson ever played in the NFL again and if anything he will get an indefinite suspension that won't necessarily ban him but it just won't ever be lifted I will add that I feel no remorse for the Cleveland Browns organization whatsoever I highly doubt that they knew as much as the New York Times article revealed even though Deshaun Watson was not convicted in the court of law they still traded they still paid and they still plan on playing a sexual predator there was no way around it I don't care if he wasn't convicted 22 different women were not lying about what they experienced with Deshaun Watson but they didn't care they went through with that master transaction and now they should reap what they sow. Do not void the contract. Do not give them draft picks back. Let them suffer. Baker Mayfield's not going to go back to them either. Let them go back into quarterback purgatory. Suffer the consequences for your actions and I feel bad for the fans and any other women in the organization or anybody that really had nothing to do with the transaction. I feel horrible for. Once Deshaun is suspended for who knows how long and Baker Mayfield says, hell no, I'm not going back to you losers. They're going to be in trouble. This might turn out to be one of the worst trades in NFL history. Yeah, those are my thoughts on the situation at the moment. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That New York Times article really was the can on Deshaun Watson's head. There, there's just no way they let him play again, right? But as always, if you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, I'd appreciate that. You want to go over to Twitter, follow me over there. I'd appreciate that as well. I have a TikTok down in my description that I think you should check out, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.